Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. And today we have another underwater level. You know how I like these. And this level is one of the reasons why I hate it. Because it is long as shit. Like it is so fucking long. You have no idea. The reason it's so long is because have a chance to get a emerald ruby, basically a red diamond. You get a chance to get the red diamond here. It's pretty easy, but it does kind of take a long time to do so. And I'll show you why when we get there. But for now, enjoy me swimming in this bullshit as I did last time. As I traverse through this underwater cavern. Also, I never got this, but why the fuck is Crash doing any of this? Can he just swim over this ravine? Why is he going down here? This makes no sense. Crash is stupid. Also, he could kill sharks just by spinning. That's hella dope. Oh yeah, one of the new things they added from this level are these underwater tornadoes. Cyclones. I don't know, basically it's a bunch of bullshit. Oh yeah, watch out for these underwater mines. I think they are. Whatever the fuck they are. Anyway, watch out for those because, you know, you touch them, you die. And it's kind of a dick about it. Like, especially here. Like when it drags you on, uh, down towards the bottom, there's fucking fish everywhere. So yeah, we will be getting the uh, regular diamond here, by the way. That's why I'm breaking all these damn boxes. And this was the thing I was talking about last time. This is the way to the red diamond. And the way you get there is you hit like a box with the exclamation point on it and it makes a bomb appear there. Which you have to activate in order to progress. That's why it's some bullshit because you have to backtrack through this whole damn level. And you know, other than that, it's not too difficult. It's just really, really annoying. All these fucking fish and tornadoes underwater. Go figure. Also, don't lose the jet ski down here. It's like really valuable to kill shit. Because if you do lose it, it just takes longer and it's more difficult to obtain. Also, if you want to get all the box total, you can't the uh, you know lose it up until this point because you can't break the box open here because you have to kill the bush with rockets which is probably the funniest shit i've said in a while but yeah it's true you can't kill bushes just by spinning on them that's why you need the rockets from the jet ski other than that you could lose it it's just for one that one thing that's really it and here's the exclamation point box which you have to hit in order to get the red ruby and all the boxes so now you have to go back, backtrack through all this bullshit just to make it back. And we are back where we were. So here, we press the bomb, the shit explodes, and we can continue on our merry way. 
yeah, you just have to go through more tubes and more bullshits. And thankfully, they put a checkpoint there because they know you just went through some shit. So, you know, thanks, game. For making me backtrack through all this nonsense. Now, here you have to be really, really careful. Like, more careful than you've been through the entire game. Because if you make one mistake, you have to do it all over again. Like, here you have to kill the shark. And here you have to just break the one box and just get the fuck out. And just let it explode. That's really it. And, you know, just kill some more sharks. Come up to... Just dodge these fucking cyclones. And you're done. Just spin into that green thing and bam. There's your diamond and your blood diamond and you're done. So yeah, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that bullshit. And I'll see you next time. Bye.